Hey, what's going on everybody? Dopamine and Balance here, and today we're going to review the Fister Comet Retro Custom. Based off an old Porsche, probably 70s or 80s. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so this is going to be located in Benny's at his stock because you're going to need to get the regular Comet to go ahead and transform this into the car that we want. So let's go ahead and get it. And it's very cheap, it's 100k. What am I doing for you? All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So, at Benny's, we can go ahead and uh, turn this into a uh, transformation, basically. Uh, most of the cars at Benny's, you can make them into uh, earlier builds of said vehicle. So, here is the, well, this is kind of dated. This is the original OG story mode, Comet also featured in Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, but this is the new version of the Comet. I mean, not anymore, obviously, but as this uh, Benny's DLC released, this was the new Comet, and thus with the Benny's upgrade, we can have access to the retro features alongside a ton, a ton of better cut, like, the thing with Benny's vehicles, as some of you, a lot of you probably already know, but for some of you who don't know, Benny's vehicles have tons, tons of customization. Basically, with Benny's vehicles, it was basically our Los Santos Tuners DLC way back then. I mean, obviously we didn't have races, and we didn't have the car meet, we didn't have all that stuff, but uh, it was basically right on par. I think some of the newer cats who are playing GT Online, they don't really understand that, but yeah, uh, actually, still to this day, some of the... Of course, we're going to get engine tunes. Some, uh, to this day, some of the, there are some uh, Benny's upgradable vehicles that have more customization than any car in the Los, San Los Santos Tuners DLC. You can look it up. It's true as it could be. Uh, I believe it's the LG Retro Custom is the number one most, customized, most customizable car in the, video, in the game. Like, it's insane. Uh, for exhaust, I am not quite sure. It depends on the bumpers. So, let's check out the rear bumpers first. Hardly ever do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do it this time. Uh, actually, I want to keep it painted. So, I want it to be... Oh, we have a large diffuser. Okay, interesting. I'm fine with the diffuser. I want to keep it low-key, but also... This thing isn't really built to be low-key. I mean, the back, it, it, it just screams racer. But I kind of want to paint it if I can. But I do like the, uh, I like the spacing in this. It looks retro. It looks old. Yeah, there are tons of bumpers, of course, because with, <clears throat> with the retro customization, I mean, you get, with any stuff, yeah, you get so much, man. So much. Uh, we can get that. We can get this. I'm looking for something that I'll go ahead and settle with, and I think... I don't really think that I'm the biggest fan of the stock bumper, but I do like the spacing in it. Like, it's very spacious. I, I think it looks good. Let's see what it looks like from a side profile. From a side profile, it looks okay. Uh, with the Mark III, it's like too low. Like I said, I don't want to keep... I don't want to make a full-on racer. Uh, I have some ideas. Of course, I did the rear bumper, but I actually thought that looked better. Uh, strut brace go ahead and there's really no point in this uh, isn't the engine in the back uh, I th I'm not sure if the engine is in the back or the front I don't see an engine you know what I mean like I don't see no engine here so there's no point of a strut brace so we're not gonna do anything there uh, for fenders what do we got okay so we got some vented vented arches we have colorized secondary vented arches secondary color of course Secondary vents, these are look carbon, even though that's oh, that's just the secondary color, which is black, obviously. Um, of course, as you can tell, this thing is wide body as heck. Uh, for the hood, I want to keep the hood, I want to paint it like I want it to be primary color, but I also might customize it. It depends on what I find here. So, not real, I mean, there is a good bit of options, but they're kind of low key. Uh, I don't like the low key one. The, um, I think I'm going to go for the large grill hood. Of course, that's painted. Uh, for catchers, I'm not going to do any catchers. Like I said, low key. For the trim design, um, I could go... Oh, so primary color sunstrip. 
Oh, interesting. It comes with a sun strip. Very interesting. Um, interesting. I think I'll keep it stock. Trim color. Actually, trim design. And then that, uh, I think the secondary looks better. Mm hmm. I think the secondary looks better. And also, it actually, I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but it kind of makes it look darker. I think it's the lighting. But I'll get the sun strip. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I just feel like I, I should. Uh, for the interior, I can make the seats cream. I think I'm going to make the seats cream. Yeah, I'll make the seats cream. And we're going to go on over to Dash. So let's check it out. Obviously, we can make a street build. Uh, I kind of see the interior here. Like, it's a modernized... Like, this does not make any sense. You can see, like, the a screen down there. This is a... This is a 70s, 80s vehicle? I mean, it's, it's in... Uh, it starts... Canon wise, it comes in Pro Street. So, Pro Street, I'm out of my mind right now. It comes in Vice City. We're going to get the street interior just because I want this thing to look old, and there's no way there should be any screen on this thing. That's this thing is important. old. It doesn't need a screen. We'll get a, that and for doors. Let's see the doors. Keep it stock. Uh, steering wheel. Let's see what the steering wheel looks like. Ooh, I like the steering wheel. That's pretty cool. Um,. I might have it a little bit thinner though. I like the, yeah, I like the fist. Oh, wait, this looks nice. Yeah, just a little bit modernized for my taste. I, I don't like how modernized it looks. I think it does say fister, so I'm gonna go for the formula cutout. Uh, for the light colors, I'm gonna keep it the same. Uh, roll cage, do we want a roll cage? Should I get a little bit of roll cage? I think I should get a little bit of roll cage and interior light color i saw that that's the okay yeah of course uh my bad well four lights headlights xenon no i want to keep it retro livery let's see what liveries we have for this vehicle uh globe oil rude performance of course i show these off for you guys so you won't have buyer's remorse of course i say that in a lot of my videos we wang looks pretty dope honestly looks like a racer of course all these look like racers but Speaking of racer, retro racer. Oh, the hood is actually pretty cool. A bunch of stickers on there. That actually looks so tight. Uh, Heinemont. I like the look of that. That actually looks pretty. It's low key and the black accents. Man, I could go for that if I wanted to, but I want to do some uh, customization. Sorry if I skipped that, guys. My bad. Oh, oh you see that? It kind of goes ombre towards the back. So it starts out like do yellow and then it goes to dandelion. That is really cool. I have not seen that before. Uh, speaking about color, I have an idea. So I went ahead and uh, got the hex code for the color burgundy. Well, a certain tone of burgundy. We're going to go ahead and see if that hex code conversion uh, worked. So let's see. Hmm. Came out a little bit pink. But honestly, I like it. It does look good. I wish it was a little bit darker. Uh, it could be the lighting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab that, that light burgundy. And for pearlescent, already black, nice. Uh, let's see if, what the lighter colors would look like. Bluish silver, obviously I don't want to do blue. No blues, I just want to have a little bit of shine to this. I might want a little bit of shine to this. I actually think I won't keep it black. I think it looks better black, boys. Uh, for the black accents, I think... Hmm does look good with the uh, burgundy but then again the black that also looks really good and you have you already have a stripe on the uh, side of it that's really cool I think that the black accenting looks really nice I could go matte and matte looks really cool uh, it does it, it makes the um, it makes the sun strip matte black that's cool but I think it looks really good when it's just straight up black. Let's see what, uh, just out of curiosity, let's see what other tones look like. So dark steel looks okay. A little bit kind of, a little bit lame, to be honest. Let's see what a white looks like. We'll have to go a significant ways to get a white. Oh, red, eh, looks all right. Of course we can go pink, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna have to, I should have just went up and I would get to white, but Eh, just gonna see. Oh, here we go. Frost white. Whoa, that really shines. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. But it is pretty cool. Trim color. Obviously with the cream, of course. Um, 
skirts. Let's see what the skirts look like. Obviously, we could slam her down. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to go through these real quick. See if there's anything that I might want to get. Uh, the carbon with primary inserts. Those are, are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it is pretty cool. I think, though, I'm not going to do it. Nah, I'm not going to do any skirts. Now, for spoilers, I am certainly going to do spoilers. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to go for the Extreme Downforce BGW. All dressed up. And for suspension, obviously, this is pretty lowered as is. But we're going to go ahead and, boop, slime her down. So, yep, all the traction in the world. Let's see how much traction we have. Wow, we always have, we almost have max traction. I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest. We will notice it when we start doing the test drive. Max transmission, of course, turbo, obviously. I mean, that's kind of a bit modernized, but I don't mind the performance. The performance, we have to go all out so we know how good this thing handles and how it performs and so forth and so forth. Uh, I'd never do binnies, but since we're here, let's check out some of the binny stuff. <clears throat> From Decadent Dish. It looks... I'm not really... I hate... I don't hate it. It looks kind of cool. Uh, yeah, like, people don't like Benny stuff, and uh, I kind of see why, but I'm still going to go through it and <clears throat> see if I want it anyhow. Yeah, the chrome stuff. Vintage wire. Hmm. I mean, vintage... Vintage? I mean, I, I don't really have a problem with it. It's just a, too thin. It looks like a low rider when you do that, so I don't think I'm going to do that, but chrome spoked out. Those are actually... I don't have a problem with that. I don't. I, I do not have a problem with that. Let's check out. Let's check. Benny's Originals. So we did Benny's Best Spoke. Benny's Originals. It's kind of the same thing here. These are pretty wild and wacky. I do get it. They're wild and wacky. It's not. I'm not the biggest fan of them. But uh, we could go for Smoothie. Those are pretty retro. Yeah, those are pretty retro. I might go for something retro, but then again, the wires do look good. Spoked out. I mean, spoked out. Benny's best spoke. We'll go back to, there was a spoked out around here. Okay, I've made a decision, and I'm going to try out the spoked out. I might change my mind later, of course, but uh, I'm going to go for that. So tires, I think the tire design is going to be like white lines and stuff. Yeah, it's what you get when you get Benny stuff. You get these, uh, yeah. Honestly, I do like the low-key atomic on the bottom there. That is pretty cool. Gonna go for that. I have never done that wheel before, and I think it looks nice. Not gonna do tire smoke. Gonna keep this as retro as I can. Uh, a little bit of... Uh, no, we're not really gonna do that. I like it the way it is. And it uh, looks like we're ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and head on out and uh, give this thing a test drive. I made a mistake on my part. I uh, accidentally deleted the uh, clips of me driving this, this thing around. I have a little bit left, but uh, basically, to sum it up, sorry guys, but uh, to sum it up, this thing has just a tad bit of oversteer, obviously. Some of you probably saw that coming. A lot of downforce, really great, glued to the ground, good traction for an OG vehicle, great traction. I'd go ahead and give this thing acceleration, customization, top speed, fun to drive I'd go ahead and say I'd give this a I'd give this an 8 out of 10 I love it uh, it goes back retro love it love the transformation um, it's a beautiful car uh, it also places in my heart because it's from Vice City if you enjoyed the video guys leave a like and I'll see you next time take care